Artur Davis. He was raised by his mother and grandmother on the tough side of the railroad tracks in West Montgomery. His mom was a teacher and his grandmother a seamstress. There were tough days for the Davis family, but even when they lost their home for a time and were forced to live in a small Montgomery hotel, they always looked to the future. Artur graduated from Montgomery's Jefferson Davis High School, then college, and earned a law degree with student loans and scholarships. While many of his classmates took high-paying jobs in big city law firms, Artur chose to come home to Alabama to begin his public service career as an assistant U.S. attorney in Montgomery. There he amassed one of the best conviction rates in the U.S. Attorney's Office. Then Artur turned his sights to a different kind of public purpose, serving Alabama's 7th Congressional District. In Congress, Artur Davis has been an outspoken advocate for Alabama families and seniors as a champion of successful initiatives to expand health insurance coverage for children, grow and protect rural jobs, and ensure equal pay for women in the workplace. And he was recognized as one of the 10 best congressmen in America. Back home, he formed a bipartisan alliance with a Republican governor to improve health care opportunities in the Black Belt. Artur Davis has stood up to special interests and his own political party to do what's best for Alabama. His values have been ours, fighting for working families, honoring the sacrifices of veterans, and respecting the role of faith in our lives. There was a plaque on the wall of my grandmother's house that said, give me the courage to change the things that must be changed, the serenity to accept the things that cannot be changed, and above all, the wisdom to know the difference. That has guided me every day as a person of faith, as a prosecutor, and as a United States Congressman. And it will continue to be a source of inspiration as I work to lead Alabama. I believe that no matter where you start in life, you should be able to go as far as your talent and dreams can take you. We can make that a reality across Alabama. When we transform our economy to attract the jobs of the 21st century, reform our public schools to make them among the best in the nation, and reform our ethics laws to restore faith in our public officials and institutions. A Davis administration, ladies and gentlemen, will give you a commitment to build a public school system that is worthy of every child in the state of Alabama. We've done well as a state the last two decades. We went from being 48th in per capita income to 42 in per capita income. But ladies and gentlemen, if we have a standard for our football coaches that says they have to keep in the top 25 to keep their jobs, we need a standard for Alabama that says 42 isn't good enough. We can be and we can do things we've never thought about before. We can build the jobs of the future. We can build green jobs. We can bring information technology. We can master high technology in our state. We can master biomedicine. I want to be the kind of governor who says to Alabamians, there's no limit on what we can be. There was a time when we had never built a rocket and now look at Redstone and look at the Marshall Space Center. There was a time when we had never built a foreign car, and now look at the wonders in Montgomery and Lincoln and Vance. We can rebuild confidence in government. We can make Alabama work again for all of us. People love to talk about someday. I'm talking about right now. I will give you a governor and an administration that believes Alabama is ready for the 21st century. We're ready to do new things. We're ready to be a state that we've never been before. One leader, ready to fight every day to transform Alabama's economy and public schools, to unlock our full potential. That's Artur Davis. He knows, like we know, that Alabama's time has come and the moment is now. But we must be bold enough to work for it. In fact, fight for it. Not for ourselves, but for the promise to the generations before and after us, who know that God has shown his light on Alabama. But it is up to us to transfer his grace into a new progress for our time. Not at a distant point called someday, but now, in our time, together. Arthur Davis for Governor.